what's going on, my fellow Dronaholic friends? My name is Glenn, and I am a Dronaholic. See, I even got the hat. <laughs> um, I thought of an interesting video today. What I'm gonna do is do a waypoints mission, come back and land, save the waypoints mission, come back and land, take off again, and do the waypoints mission that I've saved, and let's see how precise it is, and if it, uh, you know, I'll put the footage side by side and we'll see how close and how evenly matched up the footage is and how precise the Air 3 can be with the waypoints. Let's do a quick safety, oops, let's do a quick safety check here. We'll make sure that our return to home is 50 because I just did an update. Maximum height, 115 in Canada. Wow, the wasps are really angry this time of year. And um, everything else looks good. Um, let's get this bird in the air and we'll do a waypoint, do a precision landing or try to and then uh, take off and do the exact same waypoints mission that we saved and see how good it is. So let's get this bird in the air. So DJI says go up seven meters. I'm at 9.5, let's look straight down. Eh, you know, my pegs are sticking up a bit, but that should be it. Let's go do a waypoints mission. Birds are angry. <laughs> yeah, I've got some pretty angry birds here, um, swallows and stuff. All right, so waypoints, we're in there. We are going to it, there is a little bit of a breeze too, guys. So there's a ski jump right there. This is gonna be position one. It is, it is programmed C1. Now we're gonna go to the next one. I'll go get this little pond, raise up the gimbal a bit, and we're gonna fly this mission. It's gonna start recording. We're gonna add that. Now we're gonna go do number three waypoint. We'll go over to the parking lot. Let's add that one. And all I'm doing to add waypoints is I'm pushing my C1 button on the bottom. So now we're gonna go over to this little part of the pond and move the gimbal a bit. As soon as it stopped, boom, we'll leave that one in there. We're just kind of doing a lap around these little ponds here. This is called Three Mile Bend here, where I'm at. It's not gonna be a super long waypoints mission, but what my, my goal is to see how exact and precise waypoint, that's waypoint number six, just to see how precise this uh, these missions are. There's another wasp, <laughs> add that one, and then we're gonna zip out. The river's just on the other side here. It's gonna be kind of a roundabout waypoints mission, but we're gonna do it. Um, I don't wanna do any violent maneuvers, so we'll just get the river in there. C1 again. I'm just flying in normal mode with an ND16. We just did a kind of a, oops, signal interference, which is weird. All right, and then that, this is gonna be number nine waypoints mission. Now I'm going to save that. First, we're gonna execute it. So we're gonna go go. As soon as it gets to waypoint number one, I'll start recording. I should have programmed it to start recording. But once it tells me that it's gonna start then we'll see if it starts recording this is waypoint number one pointing at the ski jump there we go there we go I'm starting recording now it started its waypoint mission I'm up high enough to keep away from the darn little swallows that are a little perturbed that I'm here.
and I've got it set at all the standard settings, guys. 2.5 kilometers. Um, it just hit waypoint two. Now it's switching. And what I'm going to do is sync this up in post, and we're going to see exactly how precise the Air 3 does with its GPS locating and its uh, waypoints mission. So we just passed waypoint three. Nine, thirty. that's the end of the waypoints mission stop recording and now she's coming back so we're gonna let it return to home and see how precise it is I'm a little concerned because <laughs> I have these pegs sticking up that hold my landing pad down Should see the there it is looks good yeah dead center of the landing pad I would call that a successful um, return to home that was very successful all right, so Waypoint's mission is there. I want to save that. We're going to save that. Let's get back out of here. Saving it. Save as. So there it is. It has been saved. Okay. So let's take off and try that mission again and then we're going to sync them up in post. And how many of you guys are interested to see how precise this is? There's actually a little bit of a breeze. Breeze coming from the... It's coming from the west. All right, so we're heading over top of the river. I can actually hear it in behind me. It is a beautiful area though. That's the Red Deer River there, guys. And waypoint 
number nine. And that's it. Waypoints are done. We're gonna we're gonna go return to home and see how precise that is. Here she comes. And we'll see how precise this return to home is. It's looking pretty close. Like I say, there was a little bit of a breeze. Dead center of the landing pad. Wow. That is very impressive, guys. It landed in the dead center of the landing pad both times. All right. We're gonna take this thing through post and see how it did. And um, I think it looks pretty accurate. I'm gonna have to figure out where it kicked in the extra two waypoints at the end, but yeah. Anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in Ontario. Kapow! There it is, folks. You can see them side by side. It almost looks like I 
just uploaded the same video and put them over each other, but those are two different way missions recorded at two different times. I think it's an amazing feature that you can use. For instance, if you're doing hyperlapses around a construction site and you want to come back in a week and fly the exact same mission and just track the progress of a construction thing, it would be awesome because the Air 3 has a very precise GPS setup and I think that's the reason why someone would use that particular function. Waypoint with hyperlapse around a construction site. So yeah, guys let me know in the comments what you think about this one. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, hopefully I can upload a couple from my trip coming up to Ontario. I'll be out there September 4th to September 12th out on Lake Ontario, Lake Erie, maybe get some cool footage around Ontario. So yeah, stick around for that. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.